name is Brenda Malichi. I came here in search of a solution to my problems. I've been going through a lot. Uh, recently, I was admitted at Chuempala Clinic. I was told I've got uh, some issues with my brains, of which me myself, I refuse to say this is just an attack. And I believed when I go, at, when I come to this church, I will be delivered. Because I've seen a lot of people and I've heard a lot of people testify, of which I came, I just came alone. A few weeks ago, I don't know what used to happen to me, like, I'll start taking off my clothes, eh? like someone wants to run mad all of a sudden. So I was taken to the clinic, to Impala clinic, then they gave me medicine, just injections. She had my injections over Tonga Mashiru, over them called Tonga Nine. Now for me, I'm a child of God, I know, no, to say this. This is just an attack. What I'm going through is just an attack. Me, I won't accept the fact that I'm running mad. No. From nowhere, I was fine. All of a sudden, at my brain, you've got a problem. Go brain, you're running mad. No. With me, I've refused. I'm going, if no one is going to stand by myself, I'll stand for myself because I know and I believe this is just an attack. That's the main reason that I came. And I've been given medicine. But for me, I've refused to say, even if I take this medicine, me, I'm okay. They've not done any proper diagnosis to say I've got a problem with brain. Nothing like that. The doctor only told me to say, after, first after they took me, per first, they said you should come back after a month. I took all that medicine for a month. So pa when is the we went back with grandma? By then Nishin Febuino Winofe. Then I asked him to say, For how long am I going to take this medicine? At for one year. Mm. Then I refused to say, No, me I'm not going to be taking this medicine because me I believe I'm fine. I'm okay. No, you just need to take. We'll be observing you. So I've been given medicine to be taken, of which I believe no me I'm not sick. I was just told to say, okay, apa pe ni pakwa tiba mbe noko mpero mti, basa nkali pira sana wa fia shukwe bati, otawa ishu bati ula pena, ula pena iwe, ula fuma mnu munganda, nimbita uishi becho, uyu mtu ule kano kuno, ta uishi bewe mwino fochita, haku nwa fio mtu just accept, because I, I was refusing to take the medicine in that I know that this is a spiritual thing. So, after one day, I'm sure for now I'm broken on it. I think this is the second time this thing has occurred. In 2016, it also occurred. Yes, but then I was prayed for and delivered. So this is the second time it's it's occurring. Restore our altars again. Yeah, we cry. Restore our fire again. Oh, restore, restore our love for you again. Restore, restore, restore. Everything like what? Her business. I come here, you talk here, you torture who? This the. You say you want to learn a match. Yes. So she, far you have done what? They took her to the hospital and said she's, she's supposed to be taking medicine. What type of people. medicine? For mad people? Yes. And who is behind that? Our forefathers. Our forefathers? Yes. Okay. What have done to her health? Oh. She feels like they crack her bones like a chicken. They crack her bones like a chicken? Yes. Who is doing that? Hmm? The witches. The, the witches. Family. Yes. Okay. To Akalia, what have done to Akalia? She can't find a job. No Who is she by Akalia? She's a teacher. She's a teacher. Uh -huh. How many years now? Uh, uh, completed a long time ago. Hmm? Uh, How many years? Uh, How many years? Uh, Answer me, stop this nonsense. How many years? How many years? Hey. Hmm? 
I want to go. Oh, you want to go? Yes. No, before you go, answer me. How many years? You've tormented her for, for so many years. You don't want to tell me the years that you have tormented her. How many years? Ever since she was young. No, I'm talking about her career. You say she completed a long time ago. She completed in 2016. Okay, come this side. You said you are. You have done what was message. If you look at me closely, I'm looking pale, pale. Mm -hmm. I'm looking pale, and whenever my menses are about to start, I look pale. Like for two weeks, I can the the signs can show, but I'm not starting, and I'll just be pale and feeling weak. If I don't take juices and eat a lot of fruits, then I can even collapse. I mean, she's menstruation. Who is behind this? It's me, oh. It's you? Yes. You are inside that tube? Mm -hmm. Okay. It is time you go. You are sucking her blood. Why are you hitting her head? That's where you put your power. Yes. To learn her mat. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Out, you ancestral. Fire in the name of Jesus. From the head to your feet. Fire in the name of Jesus. All over your body. Your mind, your tubes, all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. You must go. You must go. Fire in the name of Jesus. Go now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Out. Jesus' name. My brother. Be free. What can you say about Jesus' name? Stand up. Confession. You are free from our... You. Huh? You are a teacher by profession. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have been looking for a job. Yes. Did you apply for the last recruitment? I applied and I was left out. Okay. Are you married? No. How many disappointments? Four. Four. Oh Lord, we cry. Restore I've been going through a lot of disappointments. Each time I'm in a relationship, I'll be disappointed. I was supposed to get married in 2021, but then, and prepared everything, but all of a sudden the relationship ended, just like that. And whenever a man comes into my life, there's just some distractions that causes me to go away. Um, at the moment, I'm not doing anything. I can say, ever since I started dating this the same man I was about to get married to, all my things started crashing, like everything. At that moment, um, I was uh, I was even thinking of killing myself, I wouldn't tell anyone, but those thoughts, my thoughts here, I thought maybe, let me just kill myself or something, because there's no way I can be going through such such things really occurring, no, it's, it's not normal. It's not a normal thing. Most of the times uh, I would share with my friend to say it's this and that, then my friend would encourage me, no, bring that, shouldn't be thinking in those lines, just pray, because you've come a long way. And always thank God for the gift of life and for what he has done for you. Probably there's something God that has done for you in your life of which you need to appreciate. That thing should be encouraging you to be alive. And then a lot of people are going through a lot of things. When such thoughts come, I don't share. I always get quiet and of which once in a panganda they observe to say this person is always alone, always quiet. I really don't share. When such thoughts start clicking, mm, I just feel like ending it. Like there's something telling you to say, just kill yourself. Just kill yourself. There's that voice, kill yourself, kill yourself. I honestly feel bad and the moment I, I start thinking in those lines, I really get hurt and I stop talking like I can't talk and I can't do anything rather but think of the same 
the same thing, the same voices. Oh no, you are la pena iwe. Ula pena tawishi watu la fuma pano panga ndo bushu. It really, it really, it really hates me. Oh Lord, we cry, restore our altars again. Don't worry, Jesus will give you Mr. Knight. You are delivered from that spirit. Restore our fire again. Oh, restore, restore our love for you again. So far, so good. I've been delivered. I am free, of which I believe today is the final day for me to be delivered. And I am delivered. And I was also going through menstrual problems, of which at times I attend, at times I don't. But the moment I was prayed for in church, I even felt that something is about to happen today. After he prayed for me, I felt like something has come out of me and I felt light. And when I'm in ch I'm at church like this, I'm feeling peace, like in Kwatom And then when I'm home, I can't sleep during the night. Quicker I feel feeling later My words of encouragement are we should not give up on God no matter the situation. You should just depend on God. Him alone is the giver of life. In there's no one who's above God, and there's no sickness, no witch who's above God. So we should we should just trust Him, no matter the matter. Deliverance is what? It's miracle. Hmm? You see, my sister, they are sucking her blood. They want to learn her mad. Hmm? This is miracle. Separating her from that spirit is miracle.